the Mongolian president uh, tweeted out after he saw the uh, after he saw, after he saw the uh, interview, and uh, he tweeted out the original Mongolian borders right here. He's like, after okay. Putin's talk, I went and found the Mongolian historic maps. Don't worry, we are a peaceful and free nation. <laughs> Damn. I see you. You see it? I can see it. Yeah. Look how that big makes... the Mongol Empire used to be. Yeah, that's crazy. It, I mean, that's huge. It, it, yeah, I'm not really sure. So this is China sure. over here. This is like Korea. Yeah. Japan's over here. This God is damn, like Mongol. over here is Spain. I actually found a cool little video if you want to watch it. I'm down. Uh, it's like a minute long, and it does a. Uh, it shows like how the Mongol Empire grew uh, during uh, Genghis Khan's uh, yeah. period. Do you know much about the Mongols? I do. <laughs> not not like, really. I know they end? were. I know they were quite That's the crew. Funny. How's the family? You All know I anything about Mongols, Sunshine? <laughs> All I think about is South Park. I'm not gonna lie. Goddamn Mongols. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Build that wall. The Mongolians. <laughs> God damn Mongolians. Yeah. God damn Mongolians. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to tear down my wall because so, <laughs> that's the name of the restaurant. Yeah, so oh stupid. man. It, yes. It's in God damn it. That's like one of the early episodes, too. It is. That's that's some old, old stuff. And I should All probably right. know more about the Mongolians, but I don't. I it, I didn't know anything about it till I listened to a podcast where a guy did like 16 hours on the entire length of the Genghis Khan family. Dan Carlin did it for Hardcore History over a period of like four years. He did this. Oh, I was and, like, uh, it's like fascinating because he likes he talks about uh, he talking. I'll pause this here real quick, but he talks about how like they would go into these cities, conquer the city. And these cities would be full of like millions of people and they would like divide people into groups of 10 and like each soldier had to like kill 10 people. And then they would just kill the entire city. The entire city would be like completely butchered in like 30 minutes. Jeez. And then they'd move on to the next city and they were horse riders. So they just like tear through the plains. I mean, it just caused havoc. No one had any defenses against them. Yeah. It was like the first, you know, and, and like they could just do everything off a horse. They were like, they were like the Native Americans of, of of Russia and China. Yeah. Yeah. And look how fast they grow. It's it's like, I think they said like 40 times bigger than the uh, Russian Empire was. Or not the Russian, the Roman Empire was. Oh, damn. Like, this is India down there. I mean, this is like five years in. It's like 10 years in. <laughs> it goes all the way. This is Spain. Italy's right there. Good it's lord. So huge. Yeah. Yeah. This is like 40 years in now. Now they got states. Now they got states. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they just freaking took over. <laughs> End of story. Well, isn't it crazy how you could like take over that much and then, I mean, think about it. It's been what? Yeah, that was said 12, last thing I noticed was 12, yeah, 17 12 or something like that. 800 years, 900 years ago. That's crazy. And like no one like no one today really remembers that much about them. Now they're like this tiny country in between China and Russia. Yeah, it's that's <laughs> it's interesting how it all depleted. It took a long, well, I guess how long did it take to deplete to down to what it is now? Uh... We go back to here. You know what I mean? Like, when did there, like, other countries start taking back over stuff? I'll go back. Look like they start getting pushed back in like the 13, so like 100 years. After 100 years, they start losing all their land, start going back. Honestly, going back. that's not a very long stint in the grand scheme of things. Let's see. When America becomes a country in 1776. They don't even exist. That's crazy. It's crazy. They don't even exist as a country. That's nuts. It's weird. Uh, how, yeah. 
history. Now, I, I, see, I now I found a phantom fact about it because I knew you were going to be on the show, and, and uh, you know we we've, we've got a few women listeners on the really? you know. On, and uh, so I found this uh, interesting fact. So how was he able to conquer so much land so quickly? Well, besides having like one of the craziest armies ever, the kings that were like afraid of him and wanted to make peace with him, mm-hmm. he would, uh, you know, how did you make peace with an incoming king back then? You know, he made a deal. Yeah. Well, this was uh, this was Genghis Khan's uh, special little deal. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe. Hit yeah, the like button for future videos in the comment. King strategy of Genghis Khan with his daughters, known for his vast conquests, Khan also excelled in matrimonial diplomacy. He strategically married his daughters to allied kings under one condition. All right. So how's that make you feel? I know you're all it's women feel gross. Good. It's gross. It's gross. <laughs> It makes perfect sense to me. I don't understand what's gross about it. It does, but it's gross. Exactly. You know, that's fair. No, that's fair. All right. These kings had to. Div- but I think you're going to change your mind. It's just okay. my opinion. Divorce their current wives. The son. Of- so they had to divorce their current wives. Okay. And then marry his daughters. So they they, they divorce their wife, and mm-hmm. then marry. His daughter. The law were then sent to the front lines of Mongol wars, facing almost certain death. This was a calculated move what? by Khan. As they perished in battle, his daughters ascended as widowed queens, inheriting their late husband's kingdoms. This not only secured the Mongol heartlands, but also aided in the empire's expansion. The secret behind Genghis Khan's enduring success, his powerful widowed daughters. Welcome. How cool is that? That is actually pretty cool, but like, I gotta give it... <clears throat> to like i can't remember which country china japan either way like they are very strict on certain things with the way things go but they don't fuck around with education they make sure their kids are smart you know so i can see him raising his daughters to be you know female men in a sense female (laughs) can you imagine how scary it would be to like be married to Genghis Khan's daughter. He's like, hey, take good care of her, bud. Yeah, right. He's like, now you're going to the front lines. You, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you just, you just, you just, fucking kill where me. Where am I going? <laughs> Serbia? <laughs> we ride it on, you know? <laughs> oh, I don't get to spend a night with her. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that checks out. It makes all the okay. sense. No, I get it. I get it. Dad, you made a shitty deal. <laughs> <laughs> smart. Funny. It's smart. Uh, smart. It is smart. It's a little he phantom was. fact of the day. 